In this video, we're gonna learn the inverted straddle. Now, we'll be working on the second part of the third series, the chopper. But first, I really recommend you to use a pole crash mat for safety. I'll place a link in the comment below for good quality mats. So, let's take a look at the full sequence and then at the segment we're gonna work on right now. into your chapel. I'm going to start with your eggs wrap, which we covered in the first part of this series, that you can always use so that you can get acquainted with the alignment of the chopper, and you can use so that if you want to move into other positions that require to start from a chopper. And then I'm going to teach you some more advanced way that you can practice. Um, I also added in this series, the last part, the part four, a conditioning exercise for that. So let, let's get to our X grab. So I'm gonna turn so that you can see. Okay. From my X grab, I'm gonna take my inside leg and press it into the pole, tuck my pelvis, and press my foot down to the floor to really tuck my pelvis. I'm gonna remove the other leg and see all my weight. It's like my foot wants to go touch the floor. Oops, sorry about that. I'm gonna come down anyway. When you come down, you wanna tuck your chin in. So that's that you can tuck in turtle. So you can tuck and roll out of the position. So, to get into your chopper. You want to know, I'm going to show you from the floor, something from the floor. Now the microphone is off. Okay. I'm in my straddle. Okay. You, you, you might be thinking that you want to bring your hip higher than above your uh, shoulders. But what you want to also do, and which will make it a lot easier for you guys, is to bring your shoulder under your hips by rolling back so don't try to look at yourself in a mirror trying to do it because you want to go behind back with your head and your shoulder like if you were going to a plow position it's really a plow position on the pole so let's do it again see I'm talking and I'm rolling onto my back I'm gonna replace the microphone uh, in in my shorts. Okay, try to use some tape if it's still working. Good. Okay. So to get into your um, your chopper. You want to have your hip in front of the pole okay this is a little harder this way will be a little harder but it's really a basic way like the basic alignment for it you want to squeeze your elbow into the pole 90 degree angle and see what's going to happen is that i'm going to slide down with my um, shoulders. So my hands gonna 
still squeezing the pole, but the pole is gonna move inside my, indoor, under my arm so that I can extend. Well, this hand is extended. This one is on that, so it's less extended. So let's see. Here, you can bring your knee in and bring your shoulder down. You really need a big talk in your pelvis. I'm gonna show you another way that might be easier for you to start with. It's a little cheat, but you're not really cheating. Okay, instead of going back, it will be a lot easier to go into your pose. So we're gonna start with this. I'm gonna bring my leg up. I'm gonna externally rotate my hip so that my knee is pointing out, okay, right away. So because I'm gonna climb, my pressure point will at the beginning be right here. I'm gonna climb on my leg, I'm gonna use my leg. So I'm gonna let my shoulders fall on the other side and bring my outside leg up on the pole into a cradle. And then I can just move my outside leg into a straddle. And this way, it might be easier. You still need to engage your core muscle. So activate all your core. So again, let, let's see it from another point of view, okay? External rotation in my hip, knees pointing out. I'm gonna roll into my pole. And slowly, bring my leg out. Okay, from the other side, so that you can see. Here again, from another point of view, I'm gonna move in front of the pose so that you see what's going on on this side. So, my leg, trust me, it's in an external rotation. I'm gonna go back. And then, Open my outside leg. There you go. This is three ways that you can practice to get into your straddle. So feel free to use the one you prefer and work on the other one. And meet me if you want in the part four for conditioning exercise. Did you like the content of this video? If so, please hit the like button. And if you have any comments or any questions, I'll be happy to answer you if you leave it in the comment sections. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to my channel and it will really encourage me to create more content for you guys.